I spent the last few days perusing the app store for the Vision Pro on looking for the best app I could highly recommend others to at least check out. So I'm talking about productivity apps, gaming apps, as well as nifty widgets you could put on your Vision Pro. And believe me, some of these apps, they look promising at first, but can turn out to be a complete hunk of garbage, especially when there's a monthly subscription that's just unnecessary and ridiculously overly priced. So sit back and relax and here are the top most useful apps for the Vision Pro. All right, let's start off with Disney Plus. Yes, I have a cheat sheet on the side because these are a lot of apps and some of these apps are just absolutely useless. But again, I'm showing you the most awesome ones and useful ones. So Disney Plus, the beauty about Disney Plus is if you just have like the basic membership, you unlock all these features. You unlock 3D videos and movies, I'm sorry. And watching footage like movies in 3D using the Apple Vision is really breathtaking. It actually looks really good. I personally finished Avengers Infinity Wars, but when you select these environments they have available, you are literally in a nice cinema and you could actually adjust the environment slider too if you wanted to be fully emerged in something insane like the Avengers Tower as a fine example. This is absolutely brilliant. The attention to detail of some of these props is just unbelievable. And I have a feeling I could walk around, but since my room isn't as big, uh, as soon as I start, yeah, as soon as I start getting close to an object, it ruins the immersion. But if I was in a massive place, like a garage of some sort, a warehouse, I'm pretty sure I could interact with that Iron Man suit right over there. But then not only that, you also got Monster Inc. and Star Wars. In like this drive-in movie theater like vibe and you can move the screen as far as possible and literally view all your favorite movies in 3d or standard 2d graphics it's an amazing app but now we also have nba as well as baseball major league baseball right here when you're viewing these two viewing a live game or even a rerun is crazy as you can have the game itself the scoreboard and other team details on the bottom or on the sides with the pass through immersion. This works with NBA and again, Major League Baseball as well. But even the default Apple TV, if you're a subscriber or you just recently purchased a new Apple product, you have, I believe, one year of free membership still. And take advantage of some of these as these shows actually do support VR. Because if I go ahead and select this one, I was watching this the other day. Unfortunately, it's not going to show because copyright. If you see this Apple Vision logo, it actually supports immersive, which makes you go into this 180 degree world, giving you this 3D immersion feel. So if you're a subscriber to Apple Music, I highly recommend checking them out. But a free to download app, if you haven't experienced this yet, is IMAX. The app is free to download. And this is right now, I believe IMAX is just experimenting because these are mainly documentary and you can rent them, but they do throw in one freebie and that is the beautiful planet. It's gonna place you in this massive theater room. And right now I'm all the way in the back. If I wasn't recording, it will show the picture of the movie that I'm watching right here. But not only that, I can select my seating if I wanna be closer, really up next to the screen or all the way far back. And I gotta say, viewing that documentary, 45 minute documentary in here was really trippy and incredible. So since this app is free to download and no subscription is required, I do recommend. The next one I want to go ahead and show you is Juno, which is this app right here. It's, it does cost $5, unfortunately. No monthly subscription, but this is the best way currently to watch YouTube. As I could literally place this like over my TV or something like that if I really wanted to. I could search up videos. Apple Vision Pro versus Quest 3 in the big screen. And I could just peruse right here select the video and it immediately brings that video into full screen in addition to that you have the capability to mute you could dim down the environment as well as skip forward 15 seconds or go back 15 seconds and increase the speed or lower the speed and you also got the share icon as well it's pre-loaded for five dollars it's definitely worth it but as a time making this video, YouTube did claim they're working on possibly releasing a YouTube app now in the near future. So maybe in the next upcoming weeks, YouTube will have their official app. But as a time making this video, Juno is not bad for anybody who just wants to watch YouTube videos on the go. Also, a little bit more on the UI. It's really clean. 
it's clean, straightforward. You have your subscription list, trending, history, as well as you have the capability to sign in as well. So check out this app. It's actually not bad. Ico. This is a productivity focus app, free to download. The beauty about this app is that you can actually create notes with voice memo as it will actually make a transcript out of it. So as an example, if I hit plus and we hit record audio, the hills are green because it's raining. And there's the text right there. Uh, I had to redo the recording because for some reason this app was crashing my screen recording, but I could save it or copy it if I want to paste it on a computer or something. But this is this app and it just allows you to transcript stuff. So Alpine Glow, this is a cool app for photographers. It's free to download because for photographers, you have not only the golden hour, but you have sunrise, daylight, golden hour, sunrise, blue hour, last light, whenever you're shooting. So right now I have the location in Livermore. If I select Outlook, I mean map, I'm sorry. Yeah, I told you we'll show you exactly where the direction of the sun rise this morning and where it's going to set. So if you're filming like a subject, you know where to face it and you have a general understanding where to place the camera as well. This is a powerful app. And in addition to that, you can also set notifications. I'm sure there's an iPhone app as well. So you can set that notification to be paired with one another. Carrot. Carrot is my favorite weather app. Not only due to the fact that the Apple Vision lacks forecast. I'm sorry, Meatbag. I'm afraid I can't change this weather. A weather app, but this weather app is actually pretty funny. Uh, it just told me I'm a Meatbag, which I like. I like... Podcasting bleed. It's partly cloudy. Yeah, it's just a very funny, serious weather app, but this AI that it uses just likes to make funny jokes and insult you. And if you poke it in the eye, it gets upset. And one thing you do not want to do is irritate a malevolent supercomputer who controls the entire planet's weather system. It's hilarious. It's free to download. There's a subscription, but it's not necessary to really utilize the features that it has to offer. It even has a golden hour here as well. Now, this next app is called Crouton. It's free to download, but there is a subscription because all this app allows you to do is follow recipes as well as search for ingredients. The subscription, of course, will give you access to more stuff which is $15 yearly or $2 monthly but one of the biggest features that this app has to offer is if we start a generic recipe I don't know exactly what I started but this little timer icon and you can create a timer that allows you to click and drag it over like cook pots over your cooktop or something like that so whatever you're doing over here you can look back and see exactly how much time is remaining and if you add more stuff you can add more to the timer as so you do have those shortcuts right there Cool app for this exact reason. Now, if you're a subscriber to Adobe, Photoshop, Lightroom, something, if you have a membership, you could generate free AI images by simply just entering what you wanna see. So previously I typed in a cat with sunglasses, I'm gonna type in dog with sunglasses. Search, let it generate, making sure I'm recording. Yep, still recording the session. And here we are, we have some dogs with sunglasses, all generated from AI and you can export it and save it to your computer as well. It's really fun and cool and it's pretty consistent. I'm sure you can add more details if you wanna design something. I'm sure you can add a lot more to the details to get something exactly what you're looking for, but that was just a quick example. Next app I wanna show you is Lowe's. So if you enjoy designing home stuff, Lowe's has a free to download app that will actually take you to a studio and you could basically customize it to your liking using existing Lowe products. So if we select like this faucet, I could change the style to other stuff that Lowe's has available in stock. I could change the finish, chrome, stainless steel, matte black. I could select the cabinets, change the finish. I could change the fridge. And these are real brands they have like KitchenAid, LG, Samsung. This is actually the, ironically the same one I personally have. You should get the picture. This is a cool app if, for those that enjoy designing. Now in terms of widgets, there's a couple of widgets that are available on the Vision Pro. My favorite one personally is Smart Widget or Widget Smith, I'm sorry. Because here you can select between these different widgets you like. They all have different themes. And my most popular one that I personally like using the most is this clock one. Cause this allows me to move it anywhere and I can always monitor the time while I'm working. 
And if I want the weather to also be here, I could just do that. I have so many widgets I could choose from. It's crazy. Yeah, I could even have a widget for the date if I really want. This way, if I'm like in my workspace, I have the important tools right above me. And I could close those windows and have these windows open. So that's widget smith in a nutshell. Another great app is a calculator because again, the quest, again, the Apple vision did not, does not ship with a calculator. So this allows me to always have a calculator nearby when I need it. So if I'm working, I can just do quick math. And if I extend the size, I have access to more additional keys as well. Now for definition, lookups, dictionary stuff, you can look up lookup. The app is free to download, gives you quick access to the dictionary words right here regardless of what you're looking for and it also meal you pronounce it right then and there powerful tool for productivity purposes of course now of course we have microsoft teams word i believe there's also excel right there actually and powerpoint they're all available here on the apple vision and same goes for like virtual calling like zoom teams FaceTime call in and yes, it will be utilizing the Apple vision persona. So I'm not going to go too much into detail on that, but an app that did get me by surprise. I wasn't sure exactly what it feels going to be good or not is Zillow. If you love searching for homes, the cool thing about the Apple vision app is if we select on a property, you can select floor plan. It'll bring the actual foundation of that house. So you can actually look at it, see if it actually is livable and see where the rooms are. In addition to that, it also shows you the exit from the house and it's pretty unique. And when you select 3D tour, it will actually take you inside the home and you could just go in or skip different sections of the house, like the family room, and it'll bring you to it. And it will also highlight it right here. Sometimes it also drops little pins. So you quickly tap on the room you want to go quickly go into. It's pretty neat. I actually had find myself having fun in this app for that reason. Sky Guy. So Sky Guy is pretty cool. Not a free to download app. You can either have the mountain view, ocean view, but in the city view, if you've been in Seattle or walked around there or currently live in Seattle, it will take you here. There's the Space Needle. You can look at the skies and it's just a gorgeous app to really like have fun. If sky watching is your thing, you can even zoom in and you have a laser pointer as well. And this one, this app is actually free to use. Don't want to end the recording though. So we can use the laser pointer and yeah, it's a really nice, gorgeous app. So this app is called Voyager. A uh, Voyager, my mouth is super dry, I'm sorry. But basically let's track airplanes. So right now we are at KSFO, San Francisco airport, I'm assuming. And we can monitor planes that are like landing in real time, see their altitude, their speed, and more information about it. You have the capability to search for other airports around the world, bookmark your favorite ones, and etc. Then you have this cool little window you can move around as well, which is quite neat. Now, if you want to just relax and zone out in the world, there's Orbit. Orbit is pretty interesting because this is AI generated. And you can just ask it like how you're feeling right now. It's going to create like an AI script. I don't feel anxiety. I'm just going to say happiness. Tap continue. You can select the terrain you want to be in. Very similar to like the Apple environment. This has a gorgeous terrain. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one. Let it do its thing. Prepared. Begin. And it's going to put you in here. It's pretty loud. You could adjust the slider if you want to be fully emerged in this environment. It's great to have you here. I am on an echo because it does get pretty loud, but basically allows you to check out other trains and just meditate with its virtual AI. It's free to download. And since it's free to download, that's why I have it in my recommendation. Now games, you got Fruit Ninja and Cut the Rope as well as this board game. I'm going to show you the board game first because this one got me by surprise. It's called Game Room and you can select between chess, card games, or battleships. Battleships is my personal favorite. So this game, believe me, it's free to download, but it's so well detailed, it's impressive. You have chess, sea battle, which is battleship. This, I believe, is Yahtzee, solitaire, and hearts. Battleship, it's fully immersive. You use your hand, you can select the AI difficulty. I'm not gonna do a full game, but let me just show you the beautiful artwork. See, that's pretty awesome. You can pick up your ships, lay them how you want, 
And it's not how exactly I want to lay it lay it down. You get used to it though. Right now I'm like trying to rush it. So ah, tap play. Not really satisfied with that selection, but it will do. Select a window by looking at it, and I want to launch a rocket right there. And if you look on the other side, you can't see, so you can't really cheat if you're trying to do that. But this game is fun for that exact reason. But then you have cut the rope. Cut the rope is pretty cool because just like these windows, you can literally set it down somewhere else. As it's literally like its own unique screen, you can lay it there. And then when you walk into a certain room, it will always be there, ready for you. And the graphics are really phenomenal. And there we go. Cute little animation. Trying to exit the game so you guys could hear me. But cute little animation. And it's pretty fun. So I read Jetpack. It's pretty fun. Another like, classic iconic iPhone game. And Super Fruit Ninja. Super Fruit Ninja does all 3D immersive. It gets rid of all your windows. So there are some very fun games right now for the first week of the Apple Vision. And I'm very definitely excited to see the future. And just like that, those are the amazing apps I was able to find. And I hope they were able to be useful for you. And instead of typing in on the name in the app store, I also have a link in the description down below. In the Vision Pro, you can just go into the video description section and tap on the links so you can download them quicker. So if you got some good usage out of this video, you know, leave a like, especially if you're down there on the Vision Pro. Come on, it takes two seconds to so just hit like and subscribe. And if you'd like to watch more, maybe you'd like to see a video comparison against the Apple Vision Pro against the Quest 3 to see which one truly is better. Check it out right over there. Thank you so much for watching.